Hey everybody, Gary here, and we are in uh, one very special Volkswagen. Clayton, tell us what we're sitting in tonight. So, for the first movie in The Love Bug, they used 11 cars. Okay. And and uh, they needed one to do off the road scenes, off the cliff scenes, and where it was going to be kind of beat up. And out of car number one, two, three, three, eleven, this is car number ten. And so this is known as the the stunt car. This is truly from the, the very first Herbie movie, which was filmed they, in sixty. They actually filmed it in sixty eight. Sixty eight, and it came out March of sixty nine. So released March of sixty nine. Mm -hmm. The Disney movies, Herbie, mm -hmm. everybody's familiar with, of uh -huh. course, and. We we are sitting in an actual uh, yeah. movie car this from is, the first Herbie. Yes, sir. 50, this is the 50th anniversary in 2019, 50 oh years. Oh, my gosh. I yeah. know. Time flies. Made me feel young. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what year was the Herbie in the car supposed to be? And then yeah, the, Her the car. What year model was it in the in the in the Disney movie? Disney always portrayed Herbie as a 1963 ragtop. 63 ragtop. Okay, um, but they did use periodically different cars, and uh, th th this is one of the unique ones because this is actually a 57 oval. Yeah, I was gonna say, and <laughs> you know, you can tell it's an oval windshield. The back, it, uh, you know, they cut it out to to the shape of a 63. But when they shortened the louvers to look like like a 63 you can still t definitely tell it's an oval because on the oval years they didn't have that louver split out in right. the middle it's it's well, solid and, and we're in here and this is i'm like <laughs> looking at that i'm like this is uh this is not yeah. a 63 right. that is an oval dash right how amazing yeah all right so uh herbie number 10 it was in other the, the herbie rides again is that right yes this was used in two two movies the first one the love bug and herbie rides again in 1974. wow so what's unique is the the engine in this car has never been taken out uh, since it was filmed with, uh, they filmed it, I guess it would be in 1973, maybe the early part of 74, I'm right. not quite sure about okay. that. But um, when it was when it was finished filming, it got put on the back lot at Disney and then went on this road show of movie cars. And But the engine, there's a plate underneath the transaxle so that when they, in the, they call it the bug army scene. Right. It's, it's junky and it's going like that. And uh, when they pulled it off, they put this skid plate under there so it wouldn't be damaged. Oh, so if they had to do the... Goodness. Several several takes. Wow. And, yeah. So and, uh, and, and people remember that this is pre CGI. What oh yeah. what happened in those days really happened. Is yes. what you saw on it's the camera. Very, very practical effects. Yes. It, which is which to me is extra special. Oh yes. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, we're sitting here and like I mean, this is like a very special Volkswagen, and then not only from the Volkswagen community, but in the in the car. Uh, uh, Car movie car community and and then Disney community and there's a lot of right. connections with with Herbie number ten. There really is. Clayton, I mean, obviously, buddy, I know. I want to go a little bit into the history of you because you are known as a Herbie collector. So explain this. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. people say if you have more than three of something, it's a collection. So yeah. The, the character of Herbie has always appealed to me. It's the car. If you if you look at the TV show in 1982, even back into the movies, Herbie was always helping the underdog. Mm -hmm. It was a they, they never and yeah they went into NASCAR and stuff like that and Herbie fully loaded, but it was still a '63. Right. And and um, so that appeals to me. I've I've always been kind of drawn to simple things that 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 are tough, simple things that make a big statement by how long they go. Right. And I, that has always been more appealing to me than something flashy and for lack of better terms, right. like that, oh, you know, for sure. you have this little tin can with a 40 horse motor just buzzing along <laughs> and you pour love into it and it's still going. And you know? what is a great story. I mean, <laughs> all of the Herbies are. And so, so you grew up, I mean, with the, the affinity for Herbie yeah. and, and things of that nature. And then, so how in the world did you end up with an actual movie car? I mean, that's got to be something that's really not in 2015, I drove to Effingham, Illinois, where the big Mid-America Motor Works Fun Fest is. Yes. Uh, I got there. There were seven other Herbies. I had driven my daily driver, Herbie, up there. And the first thing out of their mouth was, well, where's your truck and trailer? And I said, well, no, I drove it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You need to meet Tori Alonzo. And I said, who's that? They went, you know. So, uh, long story short, uh, this guy is uh, known as the Herbie Historian. Okay. He... 
would fly out to LA, meet all the people that used to work on the movie and interview them, keep in close contact with them. And uh, he said that he just got so close to them that they even gave him some photographs and stuff like that and told him some stuff about production. He wanted to get the car, but it sat on the back lot of Disney for a long time and then so it went on went on the road show this, this car, car right here yes. sat on the big back lot of yes. disney okay and 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 then uh and then it went to swigert car museum in pennsylvania okay uh tory kept in contact again and when he got the car uh it still actually had some of the yellow house paint they never did destroy the original paint but they did put some yellow paint on it for the bug army scene to make it look like the extra junky one because right. it, it did not appear as herbie in the second movie Real? It, it, okay. it, it was just a junkyard car okay okay and uh so when tory got it it still had the remnants of the yellow paint and stuff like that so he meticulously cleaned it up and uh after he bought it from swagger okay okay and uh and I believe that was in 2012, I believe. All right. And he cleaned it up. There's still some little bit of yellow paint around the fenders and stuff. Um, but that's kind of, that's some provenance it is, it from, is. The, from the second mm -hmm. film. So. It is, it is. And uh, so I started, I met him in 2015. We started texting each other. I said, I just want to keep in touch. He goes, how come you've never owned a movie car? And I said, well, I've never had the opportunity and I don't think I'd have the money to do that <laughs> because they were crossing Barrett Jackson for over six digit figures. Right. And I said, yeah, music teacher, bus driver. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but a year later, I found out that the car, that he was going to be selling the car and I, I called him quickly and, and I said, is that car for sale? Yeah, I found me, uh, you know, he had found him another car that he really wanted. Right. Bad. And um, he would, let me just say, some of it's personal, but I'll just say, he gave me an opportunity when he could have sold it to other sure. people that had the money like that. Right. He gave me an opportunity to, to, to have five uh -huh. or six months to get some money together to sell some cars and parts. I sold 14 out of my 28 Volkswagens, including Junkers. I sold $6,000 worth in parts. And and I was almost you know like, hey, do you need a kidney? Oh. You know, uh, I, 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 I wanted to get this car. Sure. And there was, I mean, it's not, you a, know, there's not a lot, an opportunity like this just doesn't pop up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and use the word not crazy but crazy obsession because this car if you had a fully restored Herbie pink slip proven car I would still want this junky one and the reason is is because this is the original paint this is the original yeah. dance it's kind of like I tell people all the time it's like Bonnie and Clyde's car if you go see that you do not want to see bondoed no. bullet holes no that's the beautiful and, thing. you know well, so. like, like we were talking earlier <laughs> yeah this is an oval that they it is they yeah. picked up who knows right. Right. how the, right. the studio did and that even makes it more quirky oh my gosh <laughs> you know, and then yeah, they so. converted it to make it look like the 63 right. ragtop right I mean that's the, that, that that's just yeah, amazing yeah. part of the story yeah. right there and it me. takes somebody a little who like me to fork out money well, like this I, but most but, everybody out there in VW lands <laughs> <little, laughs> just <laughs> now how long have you had it uh, th this literally came to my house Thanksgiving Day I didn't even I thought the truckers would be off that day yeah Thanksgiving Day 2016 yeah so, I kind yeah. of remember that happening and yeah. reading about he showed it and up and I, I hadn't pulled the money to give the trucker and, and I went to, I was gonna go down to the bank and pull it out and they were closed because it's well, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day yeah. and I couldn't pull that much out of the ATM because you know red flag red flag right and so thankfully a friend of mine just happened to be driving by. Can I borrow sixteen hundred dollars? I'll pay you back. <laughs> he had it in his pocket. <laughs> oh, there you go. So yeah. The one thing I want to say really fast: out of every Herbie, this one to me is the one that I'm surprised they didn't just junk, scrap. Yeah, for you just. Know, I mean, uh, you know. so let's think it. Uh, they found seventy four. Mm -hmm. We figured that, yeah. the, the, and then it sat on the lot. How, yeah. When did they go to? The, I, I think when the, did they go to the museum. If I remember right, the road show started in. The, 1979, 80, 81. So it would have been like sitting that. for seven, six or seven years. Right, right. And I don't, you know, and I'm assuming it was running unless they just pushed it on the road show, pushed it on off trailers. I don't know. But then it, it sat, it sat for a long time. When Tory, when Tory got it, I, I remember him telling me that he had to put Marvel Mystery Oil and yeah, loosen up the loosen, motor. Yeah, it's yeah. been sitting for so yeah. long. He rebuilt the fuel pump, rebuilt the carburetor, but the motor has not been slid off the tranny. The transaxle. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's driving. It, it drives. This is a driving. It drives. Yes. And I drove it 50 miles for Herbie's 50th anniversary. I did trailer it to Disney, but we drove it 50 miles in a caravan around Orlando. So, like, when you showed up 
at the Herbie gathering, the 50th. Yeah. I mean, w this was rock star. I mean, this, this is this, like this, rocking around with Mick Jagger in your back pocket. I mean, for, for the Herbie people, I, I was overwhelmed, to, and, and it was my joy to share it. I oh, did, yeah. I did not buy this car to hoard. Right. I, I bought this car so other people like me, like us. I would give them a... Yes. A, an opportunity to actually oh my gosh that's an actual herbie yeah, yeah. so the volkswagen emblem on the hood is <laughs> yeah. covered up yeah in 1969 volkswagen actually did not want okay that's their we're... emblem on this car because yeah. they they according to the documentary that's out on, yes. on love bug they okay. were they they didn't know if they were going to be making fun of the product or how if the movie was a flop they didn't you know but but the, the, the powers of be. I mean, yeah, it, it, yeah. this has a very unique shape. It, I mean, <laughs> we know what a Volkswagen looks exactly, like. I mean, so. Exactly. So they, there was no Volkswagen on the hubcaps emblem. There was no emblem there. There was one shot. But where what's they, funny is it know, is an emblem. They just covered it they up just or covered it a up. disc or something. I mean, yeah, they just put a disc over yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then on the second movie, of course, they said, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah, yeah. That, oh, this was so, so much popular popularity. Yeah. So, wow. And for Volkswagen dealerships in 1974, they actually offered a Herbie kit if you bought a beetle you could have a herbie kit no fooling that, that was one of the the volkswagen promotions they, they were they were they on were on board, board at that point <laughs> hey we love these guys yeah exactly oh my gosh clayton show us some yeah. of the just really cool things that that just make herbie 10 number 10. Yeah, oh, yeah. look at some of the special here's, things. here's a couple of things that i think is very unique they kept on here these little brackets on the bumper here uh, that was where the original cables went in the drunk scene when they would raise it up and down when it was drunk on Irish coffee and as they would raise it up extremely fast it would make the hood naturally go up and then these bungee cords are still the original bungee cords that would bring the hood back down and on both sides they're still there for Herbie rides again it says car number 11 uh, they stenciled it there, and let me show you where they put car number ten for um, Love Bug. This is a little more primitive, <laughs> but they just took a marks a lot and put number ten on there on the on the door jam. Did they really? Yeah. <laughs> what do we have here on the on the passenger door? That's really really cool. So th there are a few updates to the car, just just a little bit, but um, this '53 Gumball is the only original uh, decal that's on the car. The other is Tory refreshed, just so it has a little bit of a an appearance how it originally was in the Love Bug. But and, and that's it's a survivor. And that I mean, yeah. so think about that. That's been on there since '68. Since '68. So the fact that you have this out here today, this is the first time we've seen it. Out here. This is the first time I've brought it out. Yeah. I've been wanting to. Yeah. So, and yeah. so I mean, I'm ho I'm sure you'll bring it up to the harvest. I hope. Absolutely. Sure. I mean, Absolutely. We really hope for that. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. yeah. It, it, the oh. fact that we're seeing this and just like all the little nuances about it, just mm -hmm. a really amazing Clayton. It really right. is. And well, my, it's it's y'all's y'all's gift. To, well, gift to, I mean. Uh, Enjoy your love, <laughs> your, your obsession, your collection, whatever we want to call it, your passions is what I like to call it. That's a real positive way because we all have our passions, and your passion for Herbie and, and getting this car and having Herbie number 10 here for us and bringing it tonight so we can bring it to everybody out there also in VW Absolutely. Lifeland. I just really want to say thank you, buddy, so much. Absolutely. It's, and uh, it's, 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 just, it's, just a, it's just a great story, and it's just so cool seeing this thing up close and, and, and yeah. re reality for. for for anybody, for Herbie fans, for Volkswagen fans, for all of us. I'm and if you're ever passing through Salado, there you go. look me up look. and you can see it. <laughs> there you go. Up close and personal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Clayton, so much, okay. buddy. I sure appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you, bud. Okay. So, hey, everybody, um, if you guys really enjoy what we bring you here at VW Life, I mean, cool stories. You know, we talked to you a, a, a couple episodes ago. One of the things we really want to focus on is the community and folks in the community. Clayton's one of the guys. I mean, this guy, he has had just a love for Volkswagens and Herbie, and, it, and this is its fruition. So we're bringing this to you uh, and because we love the community and, and all the little aspects that, that come in our community. So if you like what you're seeing tonight, make sure you uh, subs hit the subscribe button. Follow some of our uh, 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 some of the f folks that uh, help put carries this forward, Volks America, Wolfsburg West, uh, Jurfab. Some of the guys are really giving us a lot of help and all things of that nature. But please subscribe. We really appreciate that. Tell your aunts, tell your uncles, uh, tell everybody out there about Volkswagen Life, and uh, we really appreciate you guys. And uh, again, thank y'all for watching today.